Hello and welcome back. Last time we said it would be nice if we would have a user which is protecting us from, from doing some mistakes in our own database. Of course, a user is not only for us to protect us. A user is very meaningful or very sensible to protect the database, of course. Yeah. So if the database can be reached from the internet, we really have to, you have users, yeah, because the root user, it's a very promising target because it, it is allowed to use to do everything inside the database. Yeah? So we should use users where we can restrict the rights. Yeah? Maybe just to one database, maybe just to write, maybe just to read, maybe just to, you know, restrict it somehow. Yeah? Uh, not everyone, for instance, not everyone who is using a database is allowed to delete data yeah? or write data in every table. Yeah? The, maybe, you should, can, maybe you should be able to write data in one table because you are a production guy and you need to enter there some data. Yeah? But if you're the, the sales guy yeah? or the, the purchase guy, you do not have to enter some data in the production table. So there must be some user management which allows this, which is protecting the data inside the database, even on basis of a table. And I tell you, it's possible. A user, a user in, in, in MariaDB and also of course in MySQL and so on, is, is identified by username and a host. Usually, we write an at sign in between. Right now, we are logged in as root at localhost. So we are the root user, the user, main user, and we are working at the local host, at our computer. This is the local host. The, where the database is stored, we are the user there. Okay? User a root at localhost. Now I want to create my own user. I want to create a Heinz Pitaszowski. Okay. We created a database with the command create. We created a table with the command create. Question, which command do we use to create a user? We use create. Okay. But this time we write create user and suddenly we are in a third area of SQL. The third area is called a uh, data control language. Okay, so we are in data control. We had data definition language, detail. Yeah, this is great table, great database, and so on. Yeah, then we had data manipulation language, insert into, uh, select, and so on to manipulate. Update was also manipulate. Data manipulation, manipulation, manipulation <laughs> language, yeah. DML, and now we have the data control language, yeah. where we can enter. This is the smallest part. Uh, this is the biggest part. This is the smallest part. So, create. Ah, select the correct window hands. Create now user. And now we could write double quote yeah? or we can use a single quote. Usually it's a single quote. Working, working is with both. Now we enter username and my username shall be Heinz Pitaszowski. And now we enter a host and I'm at the local host. At local host. Now we have to somehow tell how we want to identify ourselves. And I want to identify myself by password. Yeah. So identified, identi identified, yes, by, and now I give a password. And I use the super secret phrase. Don't look, don't look. No, 
no, no, no. <laughs> you know, maybe you're thinking now, hey, the guy who is creating the user knows all passwords. It cannot be. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But he knows the initial passwords. He or she knows the initial passwords. Yeah. So we can, for instance, say password expire yeah? with this additional term the user has to change the password on first entry that's very usual i think you experienced this yeah? uh, if we even want that the user needs to change needs to change on a very regular basis we could say interval 90 days 90 days now I'm creating with this command I would create a user Heinz Peter Shows get localhost yeah, identified by this initial password. I have to close it. Yeah. Uh, and the password expires on first login, we have to change it, and every 90 days we also have to change it. Yeah. Good. So this is what we could do. However, I will remove this. For me, it's enough to show you the user. Pickety. Yeah. Very okay. So, now, is the user now created or not? Query yeah. okay, it is created. Yeah. Now we have to tell which rights the user has. Yeah. Therefore, we are using a so-called grant, grant command. This grant command, this is grant, so we grant him, and in, in SQL, the rights are called privileges. I grant you a privilege. I grant you the privilege to alter my data. If I want to grant all privileges so that you can alter insert modify create new tables blah 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 and so on yeah i can easily write grant all now we're granting all rights and now we have to tell where yeah and if i write on star dot star it's everywhere yeah? then basically i'm creating a new root yeah? But if I want to limit, for instance, this to one database, I'm writing db Peterschowski hands yeah? and dot star means to all tables, everything which is inside the, this database with the name db Peterschowski hands. Yeah? And if I want to grant only to one table, I have to specify the table as well. Yeah? Now I'm granting all rights only at the student table. For me, it should be sufficient to not that we cannot mess up with other databases. In my, in my own database, I can do whatever what I like, and other databases I'm not allowed to. Okay? Grant all on the B Petershowski hands, that's, but I have to tell whom. Yeah? So I have to tell also the user too, and this I will grant to Heinz Petershowski at localhost. Grant all privileges on database Petershowski Heinz to Heinz Petershowski at localhost. Passed. We are okay. We are fine. Yeah. We could also use, for instance, grant, I don't know, alter. Then I'm only allowed to alter. We could use grant create. Then we're only allowed to create. Yeah. We could use grant delete. Then we are only allowed to delete. I think you have noticed the way. Yeah. There are a bunch of keywords. 
Uh, you can look them up in the documentation. Grant, there is alter, grade, delete, drop, insert, select, update. These are the most common, so the, the, the commands. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we should have now every write on, on the table. How to log in? How to log in as a specific user? If I use exit and just say sudo mariadb, I'm again inside as root. Okay. I don't know who the reason behind, but that's already currently this is the behavior of mariadb. Yeah. So I'm starting mariadb now as standard user. Yeah, mariadb. Yeah. And I want to have the user Heinz Bitterschowski and I want to identify myself with a password. This would be the command to start MariaDB. Okay. Why do I have to even tell, hey, I want to give you a password? Yeah. Because you know you have for sure know these devices, they are around now everywhere with the fingerprint sensor and so on. This could be an alternative to use a so-called identification plugin instead of a password, then we are asking and plug in as some sort of program. Hey, tell me, is this the correct user? And there is a phase unlock or there's a, some biometric fingerprint sensor or something like this. And if it tells, okay, I'm logged in. Okay. But right now I'm using a password yeah, because our Raspberry, I can look at it. It will not recognize me. Yeah. Enter. Enter, have I said. No. Maria, of course. MariaDB cannot be found, but MariaDB can. Enter password. Now I have to enter my password. And this is the super secret one. Okay. Now I should be logged in as Heinz Petrushovsky at localhost. I now try create database test test db getcha ooh access denied for user Heinz Pitoshowski I'm not allowed to create a database anymore good yeah. this is what I what we actually wanted yeah However, we should still have writes on our own database. So I use db Petrushovsky at database changed. There's no history. Select star from student list. Okay, okay, still working. Yeah. Update, update, student list, update, update, student list, and then what do I update? Yeah. Set. Ah. Let's say. My birthday, my birthday is wrong. Yeah. Student born equals ah. How make me younger? That's good. Nobody will ever notice. Where stu student ID equals one. Also worked. <laughs> Do I look already better? Yeah. So we created a user now, and this user does not have all rights. Okay. What if I want to 
take away those rights again. Okay? What if I want to, to revoke some privileges? This is exactly the command. So I now write revoke, revoke, drop on db Peterschowski hands dot star everywhere huh? and from Heinz Peterschowski at localhost. Okay. Now we take away some privileges. The privilege to drop the table, for instance. Heinz Petrushovsky will no longer be allowed to drop tables in this database. Pick. Ah. Of course, I'm logged in as Heinz Petrushovsky. I cannot grant or revoke some rights from my user. Where would be the security? Yeah. Cannot be. Cannot be. It's not possible. Because then I would simply say, okay, grant, oh, start, or start, or Heinz Petrashovsky. No, it's not, it's not working. So, uh, I have to exit. Yeah? And then I have to sudo MariaDB. Now I'm again at the root. And now I simply use this, the, exactly the same command. Yeah? Revoke, drop. On db Petrashovsky hands dot star from hands Petrashovsky at localhost should be exactly the same command. Enter. This is working now. As root, I can change the rights from Heinz Petrashovsky. Okay, I can even, if I say, hey, this Peter Shosky guy, this is really annoying, this guy, yeah, or maybe somebody left the company, yeah, then I can cancel his user, okay, how to cancel a user, we use create, you can use create on a table, on a database, what is the opposite of create? What do we do with a table to get rid of it or with a database to get rid of it? We drop it. Okay? And so we can also drop a user. So drop user Heinz Petrashovsky at localhost. Drop user Heinz Petrashovsky at localhost, zack, Heinz Petrashovsky is gone. Worked hardly anyway. Okay. <laughs> Second try, this user is not there, so we are sure Heinz Petrashovsky is really gone. Okay. This is it. This is how to handle user. Now you should produce some users for your own database you can use. Okay. I will re-establish my user and grant all access. History is a nice thing, I already said. Yeah. And, well, yeah, you can do the same with your database. Next time, we're going to make references. Okay. For this time, user management I think it's all right. Yeah. In future, we will only work with our own user and to protect the others. Yeah. For this time, thank you very much for listening. And goodbye.